y'all doing happy sunday today's a chill day for me i'm sitting here i'm editing i'm not doing much i went and got my nails done on friday do not like them i was gonna keep them because i was like you know what kelly this week you know you're gonna be in the office pretty much every day and i got three teams calls video calls so i was like i talk with my hands a lot let me um keep these nails because they look you know very professional very uh toned down <laughs> but honey the dude was rushing and it's the same guy i normally go to but i think it was i don't normally go on a friday and one it was so crowded he wanted to get that money so he was like you know i gotta see her because she's my lawyer so i'm gonna go take care of her but yeah i gotta get that money and he was rushing me these don't look good the cuticles look horrible i don't want to even talk about my toes it looked like I've been walking in dirt and the, but he's gonna, um, another gentleman is going to fix it. Cause he said, knowing when you go to someone, he's not, he, he's, I went today and he was like, well, he's not here on Sundays. So I'll do it and I'll have a conversation with him. So y'all work that out, my friend. Kelly gotta get her stuff fixed. So I'm going to go get me a color again because I'm not feeling this. And maybe if he does it, maybe I may feel it. But I don't know. Then I'm going to get me a color. Then I'm going to get peach. I don't know. But right now I'm editing. I'm trying to salvage a video together. I vlogged all last week, right? And I went to work. Did a couple of things. And I'm trying to salvage this video. It's, it's like an hour long. It won't be an hour long. But it's an hour of me footage. And my anxiety is high right now. I don't know if I mentioned that already. And I'm just like, oh, I, I, I want to do it, but I don't want to do it. So, I don't know. I know we're going to the nail shop. We're doing that. Dinner's going to be super simple tonight because my anxiety, I can just feel it. I feel it in my chest. I feel it in my back. And I'm trying to push through it. Really, all I want to do is go on my bed and lay down. I want to take a hot shower, put on some comfy clothes, and lay down. But I got to push through. I got to push through. And I got to plan. I got to plan my, um, my week out, not only for content, but for my personal life. Because I have a lot of appointments um, this week work personal and I got my therapy appointment that I canceled that I should not have canceled but I got techniques so I'm going to use those I'm just I'm, I'm, my energy is low but you know this is the real so I'm going to I'm going to show and what else my dentist appointment my dentist appointment is this week I think that's what I'm, my anxiety is coming through I'm probably going to get my volume the day before to be honest, my teeth, my tooth hasn't been hurting me. Every now and then, like some air get in my mouth, like like a gust of it or something, or I'll feel like some tingle and it'll be like boomeranging throughout my mouth and I'm just like, then I feel like I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. So, I don't know. When I do my planning later on today, I don't know if I'm going to call them and find out if I'm going to, um, go through with this because I, I can't I can't have my anxiety this high over a tooth and then I just can't, I just can't because I'm just like oh this is because it anxiety I don't know if anybody that had anxiety attack it hurts and I can't I can't be in that kind of pain because like I feel it now come over my shoulder I feel it I, oh god trying to drink my water get that down i did have a cup of coffee today i probably shouldn't have had no coffee because caffeine and heightens you know things like this so let me finish editing and hopefully i can get all of this editing done before i go to my 
nail appointment. I have all these little, I, I, this table that I'm sitting on, this is where I used to sit when I was working. I cleaned it off quite a bit, but it's like I'm still trying to take my time because I need to sh I need to shred some stuff. So I don't have the time to shred, so I just put it in a pile. I need to do that. And then I also, I need to get my QuickBooks in order. I got so much to do. <sighs> Anxiety. But anywho, let's get cracking. Let's get this, um, let's get it going. Put our big panties on and push through so we can go to the nail salon, okay? <laughs> Of my mind, strange to be here alone. Yeah, a place that we used to go all the time. I need to do this alone, so just stop calling me up. Just realize that we're done, don't come back. And I need to do this alone, so just stop calling me up. Just realize that we're done. I won't come back. Hey ladies, I'm feeling a little bit better now. I think I feel better because I was able to calm down. I finished editing my video, it's exporting now. So I'm heading to the nail salon to get this done over. And um, I feel better now. I still feel a little tightness over here, but um, I feel like I had so much on my plate. I just, I got so much on my plate, personal and and work and stuff. And I'm gonna start explaining some of that stuff. Like, I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not. And to be honest with you, my personal life does contribute towards um, anxiety and depression. But, you know, workplace do it too. You know, especially anxiety. So, um, we're gonna have a conversation about it. So, well, I hope um, you'll see that. You will see that video before this one. So I'm heading to get my nails and then I gotta go to Ulta once I gotta get some stuff on my hair because I ran out of my hair cream. And a lot of you ladies ask me how I maintain my brush cut. So in between my haircuts and things like that because I do have waves. So my hair is definitely long enough to where if I don't, like that's why I got a hat on now. It can look messy. You know how back in the day you see a little boy, like, why did mama ain't brush their hair? That's how I'm looking right now. Like why you ain't brush your hair, Kelly? That's how I'm looking. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get my, um, the hair cream that I use. I'm gonna show it to you guys. And then I'm gonna do a video on how I maintain um, my brush cut and also to show some tips to, you know, maintaining your brush cut in between cuts. Cause I love a fresh cut. If I can get my hair cut once a week, I would. I really, really would because I love that fresh cut. But when my pockets are set up, mama ain't doing that. Mama, if, if I got rid of one bill in my house, maybe I would, I would give it to the barber. My, my barber is deserving of it. That I would go get a haircut once a week because it ain't nothing like a fresh cut. It's like when, you know, when I used to go to the salon. It is nothing like getting your hair done. If it was a roller set, washing set, you know, back in the day called it doobies and all that other good jazz. It's nothing like it. You you know, that freshness. So, same thing with a haircut. It's nothing like it. So, let's go and I got my, I'm supposed to be there at 3 o'clock. What time is it? <laughs> it's 3 o'clock. <laughs> they can wait. They messed up on my freaking nails. They can wait. So, okay. Nail salon rant. I got my new nail color. So I had this. It was called something turf. Turf tan. I didn't like it. So now I have this one. This is called. Oh my god. Peach cobbler? I don't know. It's cute. It's peach. I got my toes the same color. My hands look much better. My toes, they're about the same. Um, let me turn this car on. 
I need to go over and get me a battery for my car, for my, my thing. It's hot. So, let me give y'all some nail salon rant. I'm gonna pull up, cause I gotta get my bearings together. Okay. I was getting my nails done by this lady. No, yeah. And then, this was before the pandemic. And then she left out of nowhere. Then, I came to this salon because like, you know what, I'm going to the other salon and why am I coming here and the lady that's doing my nails is not here. So then the owner was doing it. I didn't really like how the owner was. He was more of an admin guy, getting things straight, getting, getting everybody in order, making sure everybody was straight. You know, this thing, he won't worry about the nails. So then, I came to this spot over here. I went through one, two. The first lady that was doing my nails, she was just so rough and just got on my nerve. I went to her twice and I stopped going to her. Then I met another young lady, she, she did it because the other lady was, was booked. Ran into her, her name was Tiffany. She was like God sent, like God knew I had had enough of the, the nail salon wars, you know. I've been going to her, she was this beautiful. She knew how to do my nails. She knew how to do the length when it got too long. She didn't even have to ask me to do a cut down. She just knew Kelly nails along and we cut Kelly nails down. These are my nails. She knew how to do my feet nice. One nail didn't look different from the other nail. She just knew what to do. So I was coming in, coming in, and she was never available. And they kept saying, Tiffany not here, Tiffany not here, Tiffany not here. So finally, I went to this the guy that sat next to her because he, he, he was very detailed with nails. Feet, no. So I said to him one day when I went, he said, well, she's not here. I don't know where she's at. She hasn't called. I don't know. He said, I'll do it. Fine. I've been going to him for two. I went to him two times. The third time was this Friday that just passed. He messed up my nails. I almost cursed. He messed up my nails and my toes. And then he was rushing because it was so packed. And you know, I'm the appointment, but they want that money that's coming behind. They, you know, they want to keep going. I didn't like I did my nails. I didn't like the color neither. So I came back today, today is Sunday. And the owner's there. So the owner's like, if you want to do the same color, I won't charge you. I didn't like the color. Cause I'm so busy copying somebody from from freaking YouTube that said, "Oh, this is a nice color. It looks good on dark skin." Da 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 da. Meanwhile, it didn't look good on my skin. So now I'm in here. The the owner does my nails. Not too bad. I still don't like them, but it's better than what it was. They let this other guy do my feet. The polished job is better than what it was, but it still looks. One toe is super square and the other one is like square round. I've had enough. I've had enough. And then I had to pay $22 because I changed the color. So I'm just pissed. I'm just pissed and I'm just totally, totally pissed. So the young lady, the ladies have been seeing me come in. They see me come in. It's my third, fourth time since the girl left. Lady said, I know you. You Tiffany's customer? I said, yes. Where is she? You miss her, right? I said, I miss her a lot. Where is she? They said she went to go work at her aunt's salon. They didn't want to tell me what salon it was. Of course, they want to keep me as a customer. And I don't, you know, if you're going to do my nails right, do it right. But I'm not sticking around. I'm not trying. So the lady said, she wrote her number down. She slipped me her number. I'm gonna call her and just say hi, this is Kelly. I'm Tiffany's cust old customer or whatever. I wanna come in and get my nails done. So I'ma go, in two weeks, I'ma give her a try. If she don't do right, I'm done with this salon altogether. And then I'm gonna go somewhere else and get my nails done because this doesn't make any sense that one only one person in the salon can get it right. I mean, 
there should be no polish near my cuticles. This is better than what it was. But these feet, oh. I feel like treating myself to something right now. Do you get like that when you have like a, a, a really crappy day? You're like, I gotta go treat myself. I gotta go treat myself. I was watching YouTube videos. I found me a new YouTuber to watch. So she's a young girl. She's into, you know, she does work from home videos, work days in my life videos. And I like stuff like that because, you know, I work from home and she's going back into the office. And yeah, I like stuff. I just like, you know, you gotta work, so. I like that. I'm sitting here burning gas. I'm to put some gas in my car. I'm about to be on E. But um, let's get home. I have to upload my video. I got it exporting. It's getting ready to pour. Let me get home. My daughter wanted to get some boba tea. But she changed her mind. So I wear a lot of anime shirts. I'm into like mainstream um, anime. I don't know any of the, you know, older stuff that may not be mainstream, like the underground stuff. I don't know it. You know, I'm American, you know, for crying out loud. And my daughter, you know, she, you know, she's into the more popular stuff. So the gentleman, he, the, that painted my toes, he said, I know you come here all the time. You always wearing an anime shirt. I can tell you're into it. I said, well, I do watch it. I told him what I do watch. He said, oh, you watch mainstream stuff. Look here. I don't watch the underground stuff. I don't watch all the other stuff. That's just like even with American stuff, you know. You have more popularity stuff than you have the regular stuff. I mean, so. <laughs> I tell you, I'm not wearing no more anime shirts in the nail salon. They like. <laughs> but what else I getting ready to say? I don't know how I got to that piece. But I got to go home, upload this video. Our post been going to Ulta. Goodness, because I don't have no more hair stuff. I get it tomorrow. I am not happy with my nails and my feet. I am not happy. Ugh. All right, y'all, we're gonna resume. Okay, so I'm back home. I don't know if I mentioned to you. I know I did tell you I went to a day party yesterday, but guess what? I just got finished editing my video, I uploaded it, and I found the footage. So I'm going to show you just a little bit of the outfit that I wore and so forth and so on. It was cute. I mean, I had on my rainbow top and I had on my um, Target jeans. And you thought I had on something really, really, you know, of some quality. But I mean, it is quality, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Hey y'all, she dressed, but not all the way dressed, but I put my pants on. But I was gonna do a video before this, I was gonna do like get ready with me and chit chat with you guys. But I was like, I already chit chat with you girls this morning. So I just got dressed, I took my shower, did my makeup, I'm loving my makeup, super simple. Um, my makeup is always simple. <laughs> Um, I'm super greased up. I don't know why it's like 90 degrees outside, but I was gonna wear um one of my little sweatpants. But I was like, you know what? I got some regular sweatpants I got from H&M. I think I showed you guys, and then I got some other ones that I purchased. They kind of like cloth material sweatpants. So I was like, you know what? It's kind of hot outside, and you know you sitting down, you start sweating. I don't want no sweat marks nowhere. So I'm putting on jeans. Um, this is my um. I'll show you the whole outfit, but I have on my rainbow top, $10, and I'm putting on my Target jeans. So, um, I'm excited about them Target jeans. I hope they fit nice. <laughs> I mean, I tried them on, they fit nice, but I hope they look nice with what I'm trying to do. I'm going to put on some little cute little, all right, heels. I'm going to bring my slides just in case. I'm going to carry a cute little bag, black, nothing crazy. It's a day party. Eh. I think I mentioned to you guys. I'm going to a day party. So, I'm going to meet my cousin, my oldest daughter, she will meet me there as well. You know, she's always up for a good turn up. So, <laughs> she'll meet me there once she's finished um, getting finishing up her day. 
And then, yeah, so let me put my pants on. I'll show you my outfit. And then we are going to head out. I'm okay, so here's my outfit. Let me just kind of skin you down. Disappeared. These are my jeans from Target. My rainbow top, $10. I forgot, I think these are $20-something. Go with little cuts. And I got on these little heels right here. Cute little simple outfit, nothing too crazy. Well, my cousin just called me and told me that she has on flats. So I'm gonna take my Zara slides in the event. Let me show you what I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take these. So I'm gonna take these. These are nice and cute, gold, match what I got going on and it matches my bag. So I'm gonna, gonna change up. You know, I thought we was wearing, you know, looking cute, you know. I know I'm, I, this is so simple outfit, so simple. Jeans, crop, shoes. But watch, watch. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> so the day party was really cool. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I want to show you that clip, and I finally found it because I was editing. But um, I'm I'm really upset about my freaking nails. I, I'm, I'm really upset. I was talking to my friend and he told me, he was like, you can give the lady a try, but if not, just find you another one. He was like, there's nail salons up and down, everywhere, Raleigh, everywhere. He was like, you can get your nails done. So, yeah. Oh, let me tell you guys. So, you know that little, um, that dress that I um bought from Rainbow, I'm gonna insert a picture. I, I wore it. It's, it was so cute. It it looked inexpensive in person, but in pictures it looked really really nice. I'm gonna show you guys a picture. But um for the for the most part, I only wore two items thus far from my Rainbow my Rainbow uh, extravaganza. So I really can't say. And them other color block dresses, I haven't worn those yet. I'm probably gonna wear one to work with a, a, I have to get me a black sweater to put over my, or a white one to put over my shoulder. Just something, I don't know. Or a jean shirt, it didn't it, it matter. But I'm gonna close, this is gonna be a short vlog. I just wanted to um, just chit chat with you guys. I did some editing today. I had a freaking anxiety attack. I feel much better now. And what else? <laughs> Got my nails done, day party. That's about it. I'm not gonna draw this on any longer. I didn't go to Ulta how I wanted to. This was a real day. This was a real day for me. This was a day that I really just all over the place. Some days are good, some days are bad, but today my anxiety got the best of me. But I'm happy I did push through and I did record. And you know, I showed that side of me because a lot of people don't really, you know, get to see that side of me. You guys didn't see, oh, that lighting was much better. You guys didn't really see like the whole thing but you guys saw enough you know for those of you who deal with anxiety i hate to say the word suffer but you just deal with anxiety it, it it's a lot it, it it can take you so far out of your element to the, i got y'all quick it can take you so far out of your element to where you don't want to do anything but i do need to plan so maybe we'll do that tonight maybe we'll plan once i get myself together i don't have any wine i never had an opportunity to get me no cheap wine from the grocery store so I need to plan my week out and I need to do that. So do that in the next video, okay? <laughs> so I wanna say hey to all my new subscribers. Hey to all my loyals. Thanks for having me catch my next video. Bye. <laughs>